City Council did not make a decision today on what to do about Ybor City's roosters. Members voting instead to look at options that even include birth control. Uh, ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos is live in Ybor City. Maricela, why did the council want more time here? Let me just show you what they're discussing here. Just in my vicinity, I saw two, four, six, eight. 10, 11 roosters right here. Code enforcement says they surveyed Centennial Park and there are about 89 roosters that hang out here and it would cost $15,000 to trap them. It's surprised it seems the city council doesn't want to pay. Some people credit these roosters for Ybor City's charm. These guys are special. They're iconic. Lynn Rattray is an Ebor Chicken Society volunteer. Their goal is to protect the roosters. I think there are measures that can be taken if someone would sit and meet with the people who know. This morning, city council members discussed the issue. It does seem to me that perhaps chicken birth, con rooster birth control. <laughs> um, <laughs> is the answer that we're looking for. In all seriousness, if there is a way to keep the flock from exponentially growing, I think that is probably the best solution here. The city council is continuing to explore options, including talking with farmers. Members are looking for cost-effective and humane ways to deal with the roosters. I'm willing for us to explore those possibilities. It's not one side against another other in my mind. It's about maintaining this treasure we have in a way that works for everyone. Okay, so this is going to be discussed again. Those options are going to be given to the city council on July 19th, where they, of course, will discuss them again. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News. Maricela,